Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I want to show you how to use preset in Photoshop to make really cool Instagram famous looks. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Germany. I'm a French photographer from the amazing cities of Paris, France. Right now, I am in Paris doing my Paris book, and I want to show you how to use Photoshop to get this very famous Instagram look that is so popular, where you only have like one color popping and everything is very contrasty and desaturated. Click the download link below to get all the presets. I'm giving them for free. You've got 10 amazing, very famous Instagram presets for free. Don't forget also to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and the little bell so you get a notification every time I make a new video. All right, so let me show you how to get this amazing look in Photoshop. All right, guys, so a lot of people have been asking me, uh, you know, how to do like famous Instagrammer, like Alan Palander style, where you have like basically like one very strong color, a lot of contrast. By the way, Alan sells his own preset that you can buy from in his Instagram page, and I totally had encourage you to this. He's a very creative guy. I'm going to show you just my way of doing things and my own spin on it and, you know, how to do that. So I decided to create my own sort of presets, uh, you know, for Instagram or, you know, basically it's our, these are presets that's going to help you take a daylight photo and make it into a really dramatic, really nice photo. So I selected a whole bunch of photos uh, from my New York book. For example, I'm going to take this view from Times Square and so I've already installed a whole bunch of presets, but I want to show you first how I create this and how you can install them. So how to create this kind of preset? Well, what you want to do, you know, of course, I always give like a basic, you know, open the shadows, you know, bring down the highlights, do the black, do the white, just to get a, a good sense of contrast on a photo. But the key of this look is basically a lot of contrast, okay? But then you come to, the, to here, to the U, uh, uh, saturation and luminance, you go to um, saturation and usually what you do is you boost the reds and you boost the orange or you can just boost, like for example, I can boost just the reds and not the orange and basically lower the rest. Not completely, but you lower the saturation so that mainly uh, the red remains really strong. And um, you can see right away it gives a sort of a really cool look. Now, additionally to that, what you do is you go into the, um, the split toning, which is the number one, two, three, four, five uh, tab here. And that's what I do is in the shadows, I'm going to add, I'm going to take a bit of blue here and I'm just going to add a little bit in the shadows. So you've got very strong red and in the shadows. Now, once you have a look like this, that you're very happy, you can go here uh, to the preset tab. Okay. And you can click here, this little three things, and click Save Settings. So I can save this. Uh, I can decide what I want to save in in this preset, and um, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, call it I'm gonna save everything. All right, and I'm gonna call it uh, Red um, Try. Okay, this is an example. Now on this photo, I could decide, for example, uh, to uh, not have the reds, but have the orange, you know, uh, being the main color. And uh, maybe even the yellows, for example, you know. Or I can go also to in the U here and uh, basically add some, you know, red or, or uh, you know, move around the colors a little bit to... Uh, the U is going to completely alter the color. It's going to make the reds into a more magenta or into a more red. It's going to make the yellow into a more orange or into, uh, you know, you decide what you want. So what I did now is I went into the preset and I created for you guys about 10 different presets. It's all done and it's different looks you can apply to this photo. I'm going to show you a different example. So that's it. And it's just a starting point. So that's one example. Another example. You see, using the techniques I just showed you. And um, now, the way you install these presets, you can download them. The link is below the video. Uh, the way, let, let me retouch this photo first. Like, for example, I think I like this one. The first one, I'm going to click on the red, and then I'm going to go back to the basic settings and maybe just add a bit of contrast. And you can click here, pressing Q, you can see the before and after, before, after, before, after, or before, after, you know, different views. And uh, maybe on this one, I want to crush the blacks even more, you know, 
it's only a starting point or make the highlights really bright. You know, you decide what you want, but it, it's gonna make your 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 photos not for this to work you need to have like some kind of red or orange or yellow or green you need to have some kind of main color in the photo okay so um, i'm going to show you the uh, the examples and first how do you install presets well there is two ways if you only have photoshop it's pretty simple you can go uh here in this little menu and you can go load settings i'm going to my desktop as you see here i have got all the presets i prepared for you guys from like famous Instagrammer, and you can just click and load. The problem is that if you want to select several, uh, it doesn't work. If I want to go to like a list and select all of them and load them all at once, it doesn't work. So if you have Photoshop, you've got no other way to just load them one by one. If you have Lightroom, you can go over to Lightroom, basically, and you can go in the develop module and they have a really cool things. So you can go to uh, import presets here. now. By the way, this really works if you've got a very, um, like from September or October version of Photoshop and Lightroom. So you gotta be a Creative Cloud member. You gotta have a Lightroom and Photoshop pretty much, you know, up to date. But if you go to import preset, I can go back to same place and this time, I can even like select just a folder um, and all that's in it, click import and Lightroom is gonna import it as a folder called Famous Instagram and it's all gonna be there and your, your, it's all gonna be there also in your Photoshop, meaning that Lightroom is gonna update your Photoshop. That is, there is another way where you can, I can show you in a directory how to do it, but this should be enough. Okay, so once you've got this 10 beautiful preset installed, let me show you what we can do. So first of all, I'm just gonna open this image. So I'm gonna go back to bridge and let's try some other ones. So this one is like a daylight photo that I shot. So I'm gonna go to my preset I just gave you. Remember you have that. And you can go through it and you just look for something that you like, you know. Look for something that you like. And uh, believe me, uh, if you try this on your you know, photos, I like this one on this one. And then you can go back here to the basic setting. You can, you know, says, oh, I can, I can boost my blights. I maybe want to boost exposure, uh, maybe uh, less contrast or more contrast, you know, whatever you want to do. Okay, up, I'm going to open this image. I'm going to go back here to bridge. Take the next one, look at this one. This is the one, I uh, shot this in Central Park. Same thing, I'm going to go to my preset and I'm going to go through. Wow, some of them really do crazy things on this kind of photography. Oh, I like that. Okay, red nine, red nine is perfect. Okay, I don't even do any corrections open image, you know, and basically it's going to give you a really dramatic look because I'll check it on this one. This is a view from the Time Warner Center of the, of the Columbus Plaza in New York. It's all crooked, but I'm going to fix it. First, I'm going to go through and see which preset I'm going to use uh, out of all these presets. And uh, I think I want to go crazy on this one. I think I want to go crazy like this. I want to go crazy like this red nine. Okay, I'm going to go back here and I'm gonna go here to um, the transform and just click on auto to make it straight. I'm happy and I'm gonna click open image. And I'm just gonna retouch a whole bunch of photo using this presets, go really fast. Look at this, I shot this. This is something that I shot from a chopper in, uh, but I really didn't like the color, it's boring daylight. So let's see if, if come to the rescue, we can get some kind of look. Uh, oh, and that's kind of cool. Red two works well, red three, no too much, red four. Red nine, no, red five, red six, red seven, red eight. I think my favorite one was red two. So I'm gonna take red two and it just brings something kind of cool to the image and I'm gonna open the image, you know. Let's carry on. Um, this is, and this is another one from the uh, Statue of Liberty from a chopper. Let's see if we, are we gonna use red two again? Oh yeah, red two seems to be working really well. You can always go and, you know, add more contrast, you know, Make it brighter if you want. Bring down the highlights, you know, add some clarity. It's just, you know, it's a good start and then you can press Q to see the before and after. Before, really boring, after, really interesting. Okay, good, I love it. I'm gonna open the image. And now let's go back to this one. Oh yeah, on this one, I like this. This is just a regular building here in New York. And then I'm gonna take this one, red. Look at that, more yellow. More red, red two is gonna make it really red, red three is crazy, red four is crazy, red nine, not so bad, red five, red six, red seven. I think I like the, the sort of uh, this one, I think I, I like that. 
just blue and yellow. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the uh, transform here and click on auto upright, make it right and boom. Look at that. Okay, next one here. Next one, oh, beautiful uh, bow bridge photo here in New York. I'm actually in Paris right now, but I was back here in New York. Look at that. Look at that. I love it. You know, it's just, it's just a creative way to play around with colors. I love playing around with colors. Uh, it's, it works a lot well. If you want to become famous on Instagram, it's a good way to do that. Look at that. Look at the look. And I'm going to go back here, maybe bring down the highlights, uh, you know, increase the contrast, bring the exposure or not, you know. And it's just a fun way to play around, you know. Give it a shot to your photos. It's all free. All you have to do is click the download below. And New York, I did this. So voila, guys. I hope you're going to enjoy this. Let me show you the final project. So we did Central Park. Look at that. Uh, I think this is Park Avenue, Central Park, Columbus Plaza, Statue of Liberty, Statue of Liberty again, the Bow Bridge, and, uh, and voila. Hope you enjoy this. Check out this preset, install them in Photoshop, and uh, you can do it in Lightroom, you can do it in Photoshop, but this is more Photoshop tutorial, and have fun and be creative. All right, guys, I hope you like this video, and don't forget to download the preset and install them. Also, if you like this video, give it one thumbs up, click the little like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and click the little bell so you get a notification every time I do a video. Mesdames et messieurs, I will see you in another video.